Chris, what's cracking, homie? I'm Griff from Get Up Mornings with Erica Campbell, a uh, comedian, blah, blah, blah. Hold, Saw hold, the movie. Hold, hold, hold up, hold up. Erica Campbell from Baltimore? No, Erica Campbell from the group Mary Mary. Oh, that's my people's too. Tell her. Well, here's what's up. funny. I used to live on Route 40 after Edmondson Village by Westview what? Mall next to the Chili's and down the street from Double T Diner. Well, I'm glad to see you are here breathing and and and, and your skin is good, brother. <laughs> I got I wrote a couple notes. Number one, Chris, I watched it. It wasn't corny at all. I love see, I love that. That's a huge compliment. Thank you. Yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it from the my my favorite parts were your segues between scenes whether it was words or what was happening next man it was just so put together appreciate you brother thank you when 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 dealing with lebron and everybody is known for the last couple decades he's always putting his friends out there first was it like at some points i was like this ain't even about lebron this is about now it's about the coach now it's about the mom, like now, how was it for you to transition from all of those pieces? Well, I think, you know, you know, I haven't met LeBron yet, right? Oh, wow. I was forced to talk to all the people around him, all the people that were actually there when he was growing up. And, you know, at first I really wanted to talk to LeBron, but I think it was a gift. And so when I got to speak to all these people, I, it informed me about the way I wanted to shoot the movie, the, the film that I wanted to make. And, you know, at first it was about, you know, the first half of the movie is about everyone around him and how they all grew together. And the second half is like, what's it like when the world changed and all the onus was put on to LeBron? Right. When, when his star started to rise. And then we combine those stories because, you know, everybody in this movie, their story is important. And it's important too how it informed LeBron, right? How how the coach, you know, how LeBron was watching the coach. Oh, he's got a wife, he's got a family, he's got a house. Look at yeah. LeBron today. He's got a wife, he's got a family, he's got a house. He came from a house that did not have a father figure. Right. Coach was that. All his boys, they've all kind of, two of them went to Europe to play, uh, played 12 years. Uh, one of them's the athletic director at his old school. I know. Went to Ohio State to play for. Like all these guys um, had a nucleus of friends in a village that raised them to put them in a position for success. And I think uh, that's what we all need. You know, that's what all our children need. And uh, that was important for me to tell that story. The the way you shot it, and I know um, living in Atlanta now, I was actually introduced to you by Frank Ski uh, yeah. from Baltimore when you first, I was on Frank's show uh, when you first came out here shooting. But it seems as though all your movies have a theme set by you. Like you wanted to be very intricate about these characters. Where does that come from? You know, um, the best review I ever received for ATL, a critic said, whoever did this movie loves black people. And that, that uh, I think, you know, I don't think about it, but I think that's just who I am. Yeah. And I think that, um, you know, representation is important to me. Um, a lot of our movies deal with trauma. Right. And I think those movies are really important. I love some, some of those are my favorite movies, but the ability, when I read this script, I said, you know, this is an ability to see black boys on screen with black fathers and black mothers. And it's a, it's an inspirational story. I think one of the, the most valuable things you can ever give anybody is inspiration. And then you know, it's not just me wanting to do this. This is a true story. Yeah. Like, this happened. These dudes are still around. I had, you know, I, I screened the movie in Akron. They were there. They all hugged me and said, man, thank you. Like, 
Wow. We were scared. We didn't know, like, this is our life for real. Uh, I met his teachers. I met his coach, who I'm, is, I'm a, he's one of my heroes now. And look at how LeBron does his people, how he raises them up. And I think he's created uh, uh, inspiration, you know, for people to look at and go, man, I could do that. I could do that with my boys, you know, and um, I'm inspired by it simultaneously. So um, when I first did the movie, it reminded me of like me being the coach of my kids, 11, 12 team and my cousin, yeah. and my brother. And like, those were some of the most amazing times in our life. And then I think all those young men's growth. And when I saw it, that, wow, here's LeBron James and he's got the same story as us. Like, this is an example of what's possible, which is yes. if you can dream it, anything is possible. And we're still watching LeBron's story unfold, man. So my, my, my hope is that, you know, people can look at this movie, have fun, love the basketball, you know, all this stuff that makes us laugh. But at, at, at the end of the day, that there's inspiration that keeps flowing. Thanks so much, Chris. Matt, thank you so much.